What's going on you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by Galadon Gaming. We've got more Clash Royale action today. The Icy Trifecta, I'm calling it. It's the standard Hog Trifecta deck, but you've switched out the single Elixir Skeletons for none other than the Ice Spirit card. Now, the reason I tried this deck was because during a recent Mob Crush stream, the number one person in a tournament that I was hosting was using this exact deck so I figured I would give it a try and see how difficult it would be or how useful it would be to have that ice spirit card in there instead of a single elixir skeleton and I have to say I'm liking it as of the production of this episode I have never lost playing with this deck now admittedly I've only played about maybe five battles or so but I won every single one I really do like the functionality of the Ice Spirit instead of the single Elixir Skeleton. Obviously, it's not going to mitigate damage from, say, a Mini P.E.K.K.A. as well, but there are other instances where it's just super valuable. That extra freeze does a lot when you are pushing hard with your Hog or any portion of the Trifecta. But really, the most significant thing about this deck is the fact that it doesn't use any Legendaries, and here I'm up against a player using a whole bunch of legendaries. He's got the miner, he's got Sparky and the princess as well. And we are going to try to take him down with just an old fashioned hog cycle deck. Now, some people say it's boring, but at some point you've got to uh, accept that this is the way the game is. You're either going to be facing legendaries, you're going to be facing a royal giant, or you're going to be using or facing a hog cycle deck. That's just the way the meta is right now. Occasionally, we will see that giant meta deck, but mostly right here, this is what I'm seeing anyway in tournaments, and I'm hosting, like you might have noticed, a ton of them. Thousands and thousands of players every week get into my Mob Crush tournaments, and just a little plug, if you guys want to follow me over there on Mob Crush, I can personally guarantee you that if you show up to my streams, you're going to get in tournaments. All right, so that was pretty good timing right there. Grabbed that left tower, waited for that opportunity to arise and threw in the hog rider and sure enough we got the tower down he's coming back but i've got two elixir collectors up at this point and we are in the final minute of the battle so it's looking good as far as elixir advantage i've got all sorts of units out on the battlefield and we should be able to hold off any sort of offensive now that last elixir collector there with 30 seconds left probably not a good idea but i was also using it to help drag the Sparky and the Giant away from the tower just in case they get through the rest of my defenses. Sure enough, there they go. Giant and Sparky both fall to the Poison and the Valkyrie and time is going to run out. Got a lot of damage on his King's Tower. This almost became a three crown, but we do grab the win and I believe this might have been one of my very first tournament wins with the Icy Hog Cycle Icy Trifecta deck. So my suggestion to players who are having difficulty pushing higher in trophies or being successful in tournaments because they don't have legendary cards, try a deck like this. This deck, it simply takes practice. It just takes practice to recognize the situations where you have to drop certain cards in certain places and also knowing the starting hand and how to deploy it. Right here, probably one of the worst starting hands for this deck. I probably should have gone with the Hog Rider and the zap spell right off the bat instead but I dropped the Valkyrie I hate to do that simply because she is so easily countered and doesn't work that well with other cards even say the musketeer you drop it first there's a lot more you can do in reaction to what your opponent drops to counter that first card so the musketeer goes out to meet the giant you've got a mini P.E.K.K.A. moving in along with some guards we are going to use the ice spirit there just to try to slow those guards down Sure enough, the Giant is going to get finished off by the Musketeer. Musketeer is going to move forward. Now we pair the Hog Rider with the Musketeer. That's the key to this Trifecta deck, is trying to get two of those three key cards moving towards your opponent's tower at any given time during the battle. The Hog Rider, the Musketeer, and the Valkyrie. Those are the Trifecta. Any two of those three are very dangerous. So ideally, you're defending, you're countering with the Valkyrie and or the Musketeer. Once they're done, once the push is cleared, you pair the Hog Rider up right at the river, move in, you can support with that Ice Spirit, with a Poison Spell, with a Zap Spell, and like you saw in the first battle, just one push will be enough to take that tower down if your opponent is unprepared for it. Right here though, facing an unusual combination, 
He's got the giant followed by a bowler. Now he's got an ice wizard in there. So he's got a whole bunch of cards. Mini P.E.K.K.A. as well. Just a matter of trying to slow him down. The ice spirit did not do the job like I had hoped. Ideally, it would have frozen that entire pack of units. But we do manage to get everybody down but the bowler. The bowler is going to throw a few rocks in. And once he gets his rocks off, now my trifecta moving forward after the opponent's tower. Bowler on defense, not going to stop that hog rider in time. More damage to the tower and just about taking that tower down before the units fall. Poison spell in there for good measure, going to help control those units and so his counter does not become a big push. You can see the bowler easily finished off right here, never drops a single rock on my tower. And now with 30 seconds left, Again, I've got the Hog Rider pushing forward through that big traffic jam. The Ice Spirit, the Zap Spell in there, allowing the Hog Rider to get that tower down to about 300 hit points. The Poison Spell chipping away, and I realize it is kind of a dirty way to win. But hey, whatever you can do, any way you get to that tower, whether it's a big push that crushes the tower or chip damage just 100 or 200 hit points at a time, and right here, it doesn't look good. So many units on my tower, but I've dropped the poison spell. And sure enough, tick by tick, that is going to give me the win. Just over 100 hit points left on my own tower. Dirty, but it's a win. All right, so we move on. Speaking of dirty wins, here comes another one. This one facing Poncho and his three Musketeers. Same tournament. And again, this was one of the very first times I had ever used this deck. And having had a lot of practice, 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 practice with the uh, things are working out okay so far because most of these cards I'm familiar with. It's just a matter of trying to work in the ice spirit and get maximum value for that single elixir, single unit card. All right, so we've got another pair coming up the Hog Rider and the Valkyrie. The ice spirit in their following is going to work out sort of okay, not really. Hog Rider was down, but we did get damage on that tower and we've got an early lead. We've got an elixir collector going. Going to try to slow him down here with the poison spell with a cannon. Works out pretty well. Stalls him out. He never gets to the tower. And even a compliment. We get a well played from Poncho. I appreciate that as we're holding him off. And we've got a pretty solid lead going into the final two minutes. Now, I will tell you, the Three Musketeers, one of my least favorite cards. It's really the only card that I have difficulty countering. Okay, well, that and Sparky. A and the Lava Hound. And the royal giant but but that's it and okay maybe a few others but primarily the three musketeers i don't know what it is about that card it is so difficult for me to deal with i usually just panic seeing all that damage rolling my direction here i get the musketeer of my own down the cannon down and we don't suffer too much from that last musketeer on the left hand side he drops an elixir collector down and now at least i know that it's coming i know that he's got the three musketeers and it looks like he's a splitter Meaning rather than dropping them all on one side, he's going to try to split them up two and one. Which is unfortunate because it's always so much fun to poison three musketeers all together. Alright, so he fireballs my elixir collector. I'm going to return the favor by poisoning his elixir collector. There it goes, waiting for his next move. And you see he's got a big elixir advantage. Here comes the mini P.E.K.K.A. on the way down. Good luck. What is this? He's throwing me the good luck. And I don't know, I'm crying because I know that this is not good. Look at that massive push down the left-hand side. So much stuff going on. He's got guards down the right. Somehow, the Ice Spirit freezes the guards, buys me some time, and I clear the left-hand side with that Valkyrie. And now, sure enough, Hog Trifecta. Here comes the Hog. Well, trying to get him through the Barbarians. He doesn't quite get there, but I can drop the poison. That should slow down and stop those Barbarians. Mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to get temporarily frozen by the Ice Spirit. Once again, Heroic Ice Spirit card saving me a lot of damage right there. Zap Spell a little bit too late. And as we go into the last 15 seconds again with the Three Musketeers, and I throw up the good game. I, I swear I was not trolling. That is me going, I'm overwhelmed. I can't possibly stop this guy. Sure enough, Musketeers on the left, Barbarians on the right, another Musketeer, time runs out, we're into overtime, both of my towers badly damaged, it doesn't look good, but somehow we clear out the push yet again, the Ice Spirit jumps on the tower, doesn't do much, but I'm going to throw the Hog Rider and the Musketeer in, trying to get to that tower, we're well into overtime now, doesn't work out. The Elixir Collector is a good defensive move right there. Pulls the Hog Rider off. I'm forced with the Cannon and the Poison Spell once again. I hate to use up that Poison because it is one of my primary counters to the 
Three Musketeers. Here they come. This time, two on the right, one on the left. I drop the Valkyrie. Here comes Barbs. Here comes an Ice Spirit. Zaps me, and it doesn't look good. Right here, I'm thinking I'm history. For some reason, I don't know how this works out. I still don't know, even watching the replay, how I managed to stop this. I dropped a cannon on the heads of the two Musketeers on the right-hand side. Here comes the Hog Rider, again redirected after the Elixir Collector, and again, he's not going to get a single shot on that tower. But chip damage is happening. I've got his tower under 1,000 hit points. The Mini P.E.K.K.A. moving in. The Zap Spell, again, doesn't quite work out. I'm able to take the Mini P.E.K.K.A. down. Now he is chipping on me, but this time the Hog Rider will get to the tower. One shot, and he throws in a good luck. Not sure what that was. I guess maybe he did think he had the victory. And surprisingly, right here, I'm turning it around. And yes, if I win this one, I'm going to have to go take a shower. It is so dirty, as it's just the poison spell doing the work. The Valkyrie gets in there, saves that tower. Didn't look good. Now he's throwing his own range damage, so I don't feel that dirty. As obviously you can see there, he's throwing the fireball. I drop another poison and the zap, and that's what does it. Last minute or so, nothing got to the tower except for poison and zap, and somehow I walked away with the win. It's dirty, but arguably, is it any dirtier than a royal giant or a miner? Let me know what you guys think. Thank you, as always, for sticking around, watching this episode, spending a few minutes of your day with me. I sincerely appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing. I really, really thank you from the bottom of my heart for subscribing, for hitting that like button, for saying first even. I don't care. I still think it's funny. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Full attack. Galidon, firsties, last time I was this early, Galidon was still a middle-aged man. <laughs>